We prepared for about 500 people, but actually 1,200 were there. Wow. wow. It was so full packed. I never saw it before and never after. It was really impossible to walk somewhere through. They were standing in the bus station downstairs and uh, everything was so packed. You could really just, you know, like, uh, like this going to the people. So it was a very, very happy and nice and great event, actually. And uh, I think it changed a lot because Prabhupada was really celebrated in that year so much. And we always had a lot to do because there were always some programs in ISKCON, usually two or three parallel. And it was also in that time. So it was, maybe you can say it was crazy, but this fits actually to the love of Radharani, which is also a bit crazy. <laughs> So, yes, everything starts with love. And I think this was the most loving offer to Prabhupada in the whole uh, society. I remember that this changed my life, actually. Many devotees were already gone to Abenteuer. So we had to do it uh, with a small amount of uh, devotees in the temple, actually. But I remember Tarun was also there. He was, he was cooking like, like always, cooking <laughs> in very big pots. Yeah, this is what I remember. I hope this will give a little picture. Of that event, I don't know. Thank you. So, Andakaji, could you share something at that time? <clears throat> uh, 1996. Yeah, just, just, uh, how to say, just thinking, mentioning 100 years, Prabhupada's 100 years was you can feel the buzz in the air like some fever <laughs> positive fever at that time i i was not i was not living in the temple i was living outside with my family yeah we had a we had i think one of biggest concerts ever held in Croatia in uh, the main concert hall in Zagreb. Two and a half thousand people came. And wow. it was, yeah, it was really big, <laughs> my God. Never before, never after. It's really, my God. Yeah, I also remember it was really crowded, so big. <laughs> And so many people. My God. And so much manpower. I remember that months before this, uh, we we were distributing uh, tickets and books and <laughs> books with tickets. And yeah, it was a really big buzz. Yeah, big thing, big thing. Biggest thing ever in Croatia. Never before, never after. Wow. Mm. So, mm. I don't know. Maybe here, when Gurudev was start traveling, at that time, some, someone remember that is, you know, it's very nice, but uh, I think nobody maybe there. So anyway, <clears throat> So what, what I want to say, <clears throat> actually, Krishna is Sevaka of Radhika. Usually, we do not say 
クリシナイズセーバクオブラディカ。クリシナイズサーバントオブラディカ。アナンタスババセライクです。<笑> so, means, if someone who glorify ラディカ、then クリシナ will be pleased very much. That is sure. Because even Krishna want to serve Radhika. And this, this is kind of secret of our Veda. Because generally speaking, Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. But in Braja, even Krishna becomes servant of Radhika or servant of devotee. This is really, really amazing. So, we are very much thankful to our Narayan Maharaj and our Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj. Because of their grace, we could know Radhika more. And we could know how to practice this Raganuga Bhajan. Without Narayan Maharaj, without Sadhu Maharaj, it is difficult for us to practice Raganu Gabacha, especially for foreigner devotee. Indian devotee may be possible, but Western, Western devotee is almost impossible to practice. So we are very much thankful to Shri Ra Narayan Maharaj, Shri Ra Awa Guru Dev Sad Maharaj, and also Awa Shri Ra Prabhupada. Without mercy of Shri Ra Prabhupada, also we could not contact this bhakti. That is true. So therefore, we have to thankful to all Acharyas, especially <laughs> Shri Ra Prabhupada, Shri Ra Narayan Maharaj, Shri Ra. Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj. That's my honest feeling. <laughs> so, Andakaji, please go on. Mm. Oh, also, someone want to say, please, please share. Welcome. Mm. Yes, my Gora Sunda wants to share something, Jaina. Please, 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 our Gora Sundara, my Gora Sundara. Rade, <laughs> <laughs> Rade. Yes, Jainanda, I'm, I'm inspired by uh, the story of uh, Prabhupada's Centential. And uh, I remember this was the beginning of my uh, uh, devotional uh, path. And um, I just found my, I got it from, uh, from our, our Saduma. This is wow. one of the spots they uh, distribute in this uh, in 1996. Yeah, I remember. I have, but I'm I'm like uh, what to say? <laughs> I'm poor. I have like a copper one. <laughs> ah, yeah, copper one I have also, but I got the silver one because I was so impressed at the time from all this uh, work. What the uh, uh, and, and devotional service, what the devotees did. And so you see, this is nice, very nice handmade all. And uh, they also write uh, the name of the sponsor on this spot. And so there was a, it was a big festival really also in Cologne. And in, in that time, you all remember our Saduma, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. And yes, she was organizing this whole temple and together with Suniti and other Matajis, they, they, they did it. That was all, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, more or less a Mataji ashram, a big temple. And uh, I know that um, Vishwadev from Govindas, he encouraged uh, uh, Saduma to do this. And she took the, the chance and, and collect the money in only a few years. Can you imagine how powerful she was? Wow. She, they, they, uh, they, dis they, they sold uh, 
pictures, pictures, What's going on? <laughs> so, and then uh, that was a very uh, hard job, I think, on the street to, to, to do this. But I, I think it was only three years and the temple was uh, sold. Bought. Bought, yeah. So with all her love, with all her love. All, all uh, uh, organized by our Saduma. And she was actually a uh, Prabhupada disciple, so we had a very close connection. We was directly connected to Prabhupada by her mercy. And uh, yes, and we we were so happy to to meet her there because in that years she did a very, very nice job there with uh Gornitai deities beautiful temple, many devotees help for, for create a beautiful, I remember these windows, they was all handmade and then uh, some um, with, with special art, you, you, in the windows you could see pictures of uh, Gopal and, and different pictures of, of Krishna and, and also I think also Gornitai, no? Radha Krishna, Gornitai Gaur. Yes, beautiful floor they make, all, all art, no? Suniti. Artist. Yeah, very artistic. Beautiful what they did. And the same they, they make later. Is Sudevi is here? No. No? They are preparing. Sudevi is preparing the festival in the on the weekend so that i like to share with you so we had a beautiful time there in the 90s middle of the 90s and it was very inspiring this this uh cologne temple no so yeah. that was what i got from from our saduma in this year so yeah. it was very nice yeah you know, just remember Saduma, we are inspiring, you know. Just, you know, just the hard name of Saduma, remember Saduma, we are so much inspiring. Yes. Did what, you know, her bhakti attitude, what did her service, this is amazing. And so much love. Saduma was always yes. full of love. True. Wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> so nice to listen to you, all of you. Okay. Okay, Andagaji, let you continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, question. Why do we judge others? In a neutral position, judgment happens. Even God judges in a neutral position. But when God becomes a son, there is no judgment. Hmm. Question. <clears throat> yes. Please. Is that true? Neutral position, we can judge also, true. And also, new, also judgment comes from, I know, more than you. Kind of little bit. If, 
if we put us high position, then we can judge. But if we put us low position, we cannot judge because we are not a position to judge. So Gurudev used to, used to say, don't judge others. Don't check others. Check ourselves. Narayan Maharaj used to say, don't tell bad thing to others. Means don't criticize others. That is Narayan Maharaj's teaching also. And the Gurudev's teaching is always be humble, always be tolerant. If someone who has love, that person should be humble, also should be tolerant. One day Guru Dev tell me, told me. You are senior in Japan. That means you must tolerant, most tolerant in Japan. You have to tolerant everything. Is that true? <laughs> because if someone who has love, we can be very humble. So if we have love, very much tolerant. If someone who has father or a mother has to be tolerant. I think Gurudev is most tolerant because so many disciples, so many unqualified disciples like me, but he's most tolerant. Then we also, we should be tolerant like Gurudev, like Mahaprabhu. So this Shikshashtaka is very interesting. I, I did not hear directly a few days ago, maybe I don't know, one week ago, Gurudev spoke about Shikshashtaka. And uh, I missed his speech. And somebody asking, Shikshashtakan is, it's words of Sadaka Deha or Sitta Deha. <laughs> Very interesting question. Gurudev is saying this Sadaka Deha. That's also true. But also, if Shikshashtakam is word of Mahaprabhu, also it is considered word of Shrimati Radharani. Then, that word may be understand also Siddha Deha also. Not all verses, some verses may be Siddha Deha. Because Manjari is most tolerant. Manjari is accept lowest position. <laughs> Amazing. If we think Saki, Saki is more higher than Manjari, much higher than Manjari. 
But Manjari accepting, especially Raghunadas Goswami was offered, you can be my Saki. <laughs> Raghunadas Goswami said, yeah, I pay obeisance to Saki. I so much respect to Saki. But for me, I would like to be your Dasi. I don't want big position. I want to be lover of your beloved Krishna. No. My goal is you. I want to serve you. My Ishta Deva is not Krishna, but for you. So this is, <laughs> this is Manjari's mood. And uh, this humbleness and judgment is complete opposite uh, feeling. If we think I'm senior, I'm more high, I'm more advanced, okay, I can judge. But Manjali said, they are so qualified, but no, I'm humble servant, humble maid servant. I just pay obeisance. To. So this is, and by the bhakti, we may judge because we see external behavior. But if someone who is practicing Raganuga Bhakti, Raga Bhajan, they don't judge others. This is interesting. As far as my understanding, I have seen by the Bhakti may, by the Bhakta may judge, but the Raganuga Bhakta does not want to judge. Always be humble. So if, if you go to Binoda Baba, or Prana Krishna Baba, or Mahanidhi Baba, amazing. They're so humble. Always ready to <laughs> serve them. I, I, I pay obeisance to Mahanidhi Baba, and then Mahani Baba was also again pay obeisance. I, I shocked. He's much senior than I. I am like, I am like a position of his disciple. And so I pay obeisance and, but he also obeys us. No, 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 no. I say, oh, Mahanjaba, I need your mercy. You are much senior than I. You are much the other than to I. Mahanjaba, I need always your mercy. Then he said, no, I need your mercy. Oh my God. What? Go me, just after that, mata, just, ah, shit, um, go me, nase, just, now, class, too. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, this is a position of sad. Guru Dev also. Guru Dev is always take humble position. I surprising. So I am learning always good day. How, how should we, shall, shall I take this humble attitude? I'm so puffed up. I did not pay respect to others. This is my bad quality. But the good day was always respect to others. Give prasa to others. So that's, uh, I, I try to run, I try to follow. That is, uh, this is a judgment is a very interesting point because uh, we have a tendency to judge others, but not for me, for us. That is our, our problem. <laughs> Sorry. Rade, Rade. Yes, please. On this topic, 
I, I wanted to share a little bit a few from another perspective. What is actually humbleness? Because a lot of people think that humbleness has to do with outer behavior. Yes, it could be. And maybe persons behave sometimes very humble outside, but that doesn't mean that they are inside. So what is real humbleness actually? It is said in the scriptures that real humbleness is coming forth from love. And it is even said that real humbleness is like love. You cannot distinguish. Love means humbleness. And real humbleness means love. Because if I love you, I will respect you, of course. Because it's coming forth from love. So it doesn't have to do with this outer behavior. Because I know from the past, there were so many misunderstandings of that, what is humbleness. So people may sometimes not behave in a very humble way if you see it from outside. But inside, they feel always lower than the others, because not lower in the sense of materialistic way. Lower means I want to serve your love. I want to serve you. And I also want to have that kind of love you have. I want to exchange love with you, always. So humbleness is coming forth from love. And this humbleness is meant, actually. And then another point of the false ego. Sometimes in the past I heard this like a bad word. When you say some bad word to others, oh, you are in your false ego. This is just your ego. Like this. This is not very nice to say that because this is actually an offense. Because who is not in his false ego? <laughs> we wouldn't be here if we would not be, right? All we, we all know that. Because we identify with the material body, which means with your intelligence, with your mind, with your behavior, patterns. Because everything is actually patterns. You learned from your parents how to behave in patterns. They behaved always in the same way, so you adjusted. These are patterns. And you may, ex you may change your patterns a little bit, but therefore you need one thing. You need love. Without love, you will never change any patterns. I know from experience, because, for example, Braj Sundari, because she loves me, she can change my patterns. If she would not give me this in love, I would never change. Why? If somebody is saying like this, you know, usually you reject this person. But if someone is offering in love, there would be some perspective for you to behave in a more nice way. Then you consider. And then you want to change because of love. So some people say, ah, this is material love. I don't know what they think, but I cannot see any material love. Because love is always emanating from the soul. All feelings are coming from the soul. We are part and parcel of Radharani. Radharani is love. In all of us is love. We cannot live without love. Love is the machine, the power, everything inside, which for what we are living, actually. So what is really happening if we say material love? 
The original love is giving you some input, some feeling, some kind of uh, move yourself, something like this. And then the ego is actually changing it. Then it becomes material because it's mixed with the false ego, with old patterns. So humbleness means if somebody is telling you something and you are in quarrel or I don't know, whatever happens, you always look, ah, okay, what can I change? What is my part? You are not saying this guy or that girl, she did this and that. No, you always say, okay, what can I do? It's trouble because of my old patterns. How can I change? I want to change. I want to go more in love. I want to develop more in love. So I don't know how. I know I will, I want, I really want to change, but I don't know how. Always, always, always. Nitai, please, please, Nitai, help me. Because Nitai is transferring the love of Radha to us and the love of Krishna, both. Nitai is the transformator of love. He has all power, but is reducing it for us, that we can take it. Gurudev also said this sometimes, because he's also Guru Tattva, what means also part of Nitai. So we need that transformation in all respects, transformation of the power for us and then from inside the transformation that we change our patterns which are actually connected with our identification of old patterns which we learned in the material world. I don't know if this was clear, I hope it is to be understood. But I had to share that because often there are some misunderstandings in these topics. It's not a bad word when I say you are in your ego, your, your false ego. No, it's not a bad word. It's just, please be aware there could be some change. Very good point. I think this old pattern called false ego. If yes. we if we forget the real identity, then we have to be materialistic, special, some pattern, which is thinking, I am this body. This belongs to my body is mine. This is my pleasure. I am master. I am enjoyer. This kind of pattern we had, <laughs> we have. We had so Gorabani Baba kindly explain to us and showing the way how to go back to real identity, our Swarupa, and also need Nita's mercy. Nita's mercy coming from our Guru Dev, our representative of Nita or Radharani. That is very important point. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, our Andakaji. Hmm. Again, question. How can we help others if we are not doing it from a pure platform? Hmm. So Gurudev is answering. A soul 
can help to a soul. It is the nature of the soul to help, to love. We cannot live without loving exchange. Love only moves with your spiritual identity. Love means exchange of your feelings. And this comes from consciousness. Other actions are secondary. Primary consideration is from where is your consciousness coming? Love in action means you always feel that your all actions are full of love. Okay. This is, I think, this is love in action means you are always feel that you all action are full of love. That means fully take shelter in Fradini Shakti or internal potency Yoga Maya. So especially if someone who can do, could do in like love in action and purely, that means he's fully take shelter of Fradini Shakti. Fully take shelter of our Swamini. That's I'm, I'm just feeling. I just remember Bhagavad Gita 70 chapter 78, last verse, last purport. Living entities, normal condition is in the, at, and take shelter in Fradini Shakti. That's, I feel this, this sentence kind of same meaning. Mm. So, <clears throat> I also like to add something to this point Please. because I can feel that as long as we are in this false ego, we think we could do something like no judgment. We have to do, we don't have to judge, right? But in the false ego, automatically we judge. We had this example of this monkey mind. When we was in uh, Munge Mandir now, there was uh, one devotee from uh, US, he made a poem about the monkey mind. And the meaning of the monkey mind is that if there are two monkeys, they, they have to fight. We can see in Munge Mandir, always fighting. That means always judging also. And as soon as one monkey is alone, no fight, very peaceful, sitting somewhere, eating peacefully. And uh, what happened when there is only one monkey? For example, if, if we have a small child in front of us, there is no ego, right? False ego. Only my false ego when I, when I see this child. But there is no fighting, no judgment. There is only his love is, is automatically there, not active position. But everyone, even if this child, nothing doing, passive, sleeping, if you, if you see this child, you automatically like to hug 
because it's so sweet and there is only love because no false ego it's a soul it's a pure soul and so we can also see in gurudev when we see gurudev if he is in his mood we always like to hug him because it's so sweet and then he is on the soul level and even more he is also in in his in his manjari bath this is even more and so we can understand as soon as we realize our real position as a soul this is only the first step but then there is no monkey mind no more it's finish and then automatically we finish all our judgments automatically it will come if we enter this position no more judgment and no more fighting we are not identified with this material world with this material body with this material circumstances in that moment we finish this we really enter a higher level and automatically in that moment we are not identified we can love all other entities automatically it happen not we have to do we don't have to judge we don't have to, we not have to do anything and the moment we reach this position it will automatically happen and then we take shelter of radhika and the meaning of taking shelter of radhika and her lotus feet is we are taking shelter of the source of all love and then this pure love is entering our heart and we can grow in our spiritual body and in that moment we can exchange this love with spiritual senses this is even higher than in the position of a soul soul can feel all this but the exchange of all these loving feelings and love in action means i need the spiritual body but it's more or less it starts with the identification of the soul and not of the material body then i understand myself and in the same moment i understand myself i also understand the self of all others automatically not act- not not active it is there it's a blessing somehow by the mercy of the gurudev because he is giving this also what what when we remember prabhu pat he always make this point what do you learn from my books he asked saduma and so the right answer was after all you are not the body so he starts with a and we have to learn we are not the body same and then next step then we can enter a spiritual body and then love in action starts and this is what gurudev is teaching us and because he is on this point we are so attracted he is no we are so attracted to him no right everyone we can see when we are in mungya mandya my god so many many people from all direction come to his place and all they love him automatically and then you mean humility oh wie sagst du humility humility na no? humility is not that we have to do something it becomes a part of us we are naturally in this mood we we not judge 
we are we have not nothing to do with this here with all this what happened in this material world automatically we be, we are what says you mean it humble automatically we are humble because in that moment it's our nature if we behave different this is unnatural in that moment it becomes our nature this humbleness and humility and this is what we are looking for in the training with our gurudev that we that this humbleness and humility becomes part of us so that we are automatically um transport this feeling with us to every place we are going through like prabhupad also did wherever he was humility starts and so this is this this what we say holy people like jesus wherever they are this takes place automatically they don't have to do anything because they are this feeling there is no difference between the self and this feeling of humility because they took shelter on the lotus feet of our swami and then it takes it works this we can learn it from dav jai mm. thank you thank you thank, thank you very much yeah. okay can we yeah. go mm -hmm. our all actions are for ourselves loving action means that you feel that all action is for your service when you add service your love becomes pure when you want to enjoy yourself it's karma selfish lust when you want to serve with love it becomes krishna prema some are happy with sweet words and some are happy with angry words krishna is happy when radhika becomes angry <laughs> when she is angry krishna is in ecstasy radhika's actions say don't see me i'm crying to see you at the same time rejecting but heart is telling to see anger created love
one devotee says, when I become angry, love generates inside of me. Like this. Love in action means that your love should be in the service only. Hmm. So this is interesting. Someone say, actually say, love and hate is very kind of same, same source. <laughs> and uh, especially if we don't love, if we don't love somebody, then we don't angry. If angry means we feel this person's mind, this person is very intimate, then we can angry. Gurudev never angry to ordinary person or first time person. Gurudev never angry like this. But Gurudev become angry. Gurudev feel, oh, this person is mine very close, then he start angry. Well, we also, we don't angry to everybody. But a certain person, we become angry, like husband, wife, children, dear friend, because they are thinking very close. And Radharani's case, Radha is angry. It seems Radha is angry. But actually, Radha does in her service to Krishna, Moha. And this angry increases love sometimes. Because, uh, Sneha, man. So, like a Prema's stage, I'm talking. <laughs> Prema's, beyond the Prema, it's stage of Sneha. Sneha means meriting. And then man coming. Man become angry. And then Prana is coming. Prana is like a, uh, feeling lava is like myself, like same. Sometimes they change position. Krishna touching Radhika's body, but Radhika is thinking, oh, this I am touching my body, not Krishna. Well, sometimes they feel, Krishna feel, I am Radharani. Radha feel, I am Krishna. They completely mad, they change position. So then this is, and then, you know, Pranaya and then Raga, very much strong love. And then Anuraga, respiration. And then Baba, Mahababa. So this is, uh, this love also very nice tema in Birapax Manjari. <laughs> oh, Radha Rasa And if Radhika become angry, then we could do, do some seva for Radhika also. Because Krishna cannot do anything. Krishna beg to Rad and you know, Rupa and uh, Rati. Please, Torasi, please help me. I am in problem. My Swamini is become very angry. I cannot approach. I cannot pacify. Whatever I do, she reject. So please help me. Then Manjari Seva, important Seva starts. How to, how to pacify Swamini and how to, 
And interesting, Mohan Beck, the Manjaris, Kinkaris. Supreme Lord, who is Atmarama, is crying and begging to Manjari. This is really amazing <laughs> for me. Very interesting, this, this angry, this anger of Srimati Radharani is very good topic in Radharasa Sanity and Virapaks Manjari. But Radhika does serve to please Mohan, please Krishna, or to increase love. But our angry is not like this. Our hungry is mode of ignorance and passion and mixing. <laughs> but Radharani's anger is completely transcendent, completely in love, pure love. Rade, rade. Okay. Mm. So we continue reading. Kindness. Humbleness. These are the friends of love. Ego. Angerness. These are against love. Inside what is there, see that. Observe yourself. Change of cloth will not change your heart. Change of heart will change your clothes. Mm -hmm. So in this occasion, I want to say our Dear Radha Charanji. So, Radha Charanji came from uh, IGM. <laughs> I, we also came from IGM. <laughs> and then, when Radha Charanji came, at that time, we are saffron crosses. And slowly, slowly, due to association of our Guru Dev and other devotees. And he changed mind. I want to give up these crosses. I want to be humble position. So, I don't know, our, our other challenge is there? No, maybe. I don't know, maybe disappear. Yes, I am here. So, so if, uh, yeah, sorry, if we could you, could you explain this, this Guru Dev, change your heart will change your crosses. This is a very good item. very good topic. Change the cross will not change your heart. Change your heart will change your cross. <clears throat> your experience. Yes. I got this experience here. <laughs> um, I came to Mungirmani one year ago before Gaura Purnima. But just before coming, when I was in the process preparing to come to India, I just learned that uh, my guru there not in senior's dress, he's in my club. It was for me a surprise. And I thought, uh-oh, what to do? Because for me, 
which means I must be in harmony with Guru. And I, I, I start to think, what does it mean for me? Maybe I can't avoid this, no need to change clothes some way. And then I come, came to hear, Jananda spoke with me a few times. He thought, you know, it's not good. Uh, I was have to resist him a little bit. And then I came to ask Guru Dev, do you what you want from me? Do you want to change what I will change? And Guru Dev thought, not for you, it's good. For you, it's auspicious. You can travel, you can uh, reach. But then I asked him, could you give me a channel? He said, no, no, no. I came all the time to him here and asked him, could you give me a name? Your name for me. Give me a name. And he told, and then he told, oh, I don't remember whom he asked. Give him, uh, he asked me, do you have each other? I thought, yes, I have many chadras. No, 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 chadras from Shumati Radhika. And I thought, no, oh, give him white chadras, white chadras. Our, ours, he thought, cool, you can choose any color. But for me, he thought, give him white chadras. Yes, it's true, first his heart has been changed. But in this case, in this case I received white chadras. I took myself, on myself, and some, some changes started. I then, I then returned to uh, my room and started to think what's happened. And I told to Narayanga Samaharaj, I want to receive to see that Pranali. I want to be close to my Gurudev, I want to call Shemati Radhika. Then I will do now some crazy thing. Please stop me if I'm wrong. I don't know what to do else. I will three times ask Gurudev, he told, no, no, no. But desire here, and I also won't be, won't be in harmony with Gurudev. And also, I found how many, how many ego coming from for me, not for all, for me, particularly for me, coming from any other days. How many ego coming? And it's not possible to control. I couldn't control it. And I. I told to learn Gassan Maharaj, my Guru Dev. I told, I will go now to Bazaar to, uh, to purchase white cloth. Please tell me if I'm wrong. And I came to the gate. Immediately, Rick Shalala stopped and asked, where do you want to go? I told, Lord Bazaar. And I asked, what's the price? He told, 20 rupees. Uh, usually, it's possible. <laughs> 20 rupees quickly. I'm returned. Then I gave to Gurudev with my love. He immediately started to smile. He was so happy. <laughs> and he thought, oh, good Baba, he is your brother. Take care about him. <laughs> so, so many nice changes came due to this. But yes, Jananda Jay, you're right. First, some decision here come. Ch heart changed. Then clothes changed. But sometimes it also versa. For example, his vest. Kota underneath, under, I don't know how it's called. And they put myself, I feel my guru around me. So strong energy from this. About dress. Uniform, but I am agree with you, Janadji. Thank you very much for your experience and realization. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We will continue reading. Some persons think, now I got it. 
Now I'm realized. Come, touch my feet. <laughs> I'm a guru. Like this. They forget their guru. A real master feels that I am a student and he always remembers his spiritual master and lives under his shelter. In spiritual life, also we need homework. You have to see research inside you, calculate inside of you what is positive. And what to practice in my life. This is homework. What is positive and what to practice in my life. Hmm. <laughs> I do this. I do this, says Gurudev, <laughs> and I feel how it works. We are never the doer. We are the lover. We have to die for love. What is the use of dying? If not for love, what is the use of this life if not for love? If you understand this, your life is successful. Yes. <clears throat> So this is a very many important point. <clears throat> Guru Dev is always saying, I am a student of Guru Dev. I am a servant of Guru Dev. I am not a Guru. I am a student of my Guru Dev. I am a servant of my Guru Dev. If someone who think like this, he's qualified to be a real disciple or to become, I think, good. <clears throat> One day, good David told me. And then I said, Guru Dev, I'm not qualified to do this. I'm not qualified to do this. Then Guru Dev said, if you feel you are not qualified, then you are qualified. If you feel I'm qualified, then you are not qualified. This is very interesting. In this material world is maybe different. If you feel qualified, then you may qualify. You are not qualified, then you are not qualified. But spiritual life is opposite thing. Because <clears throat> even little bit, some proud, some puffed up tendencies coming, then we are not pure. We are not real servant. Because real servant is 100% surrender. Means we are not doer. Our Gurudev, our Swamini is doer. 
I'm not doer. So this Guru Dev saying, we are never the doer. Doer means we are master. Servant means not doer. We are doing under the direction of our master. So Manjari is not doer. Manjari is steer. Manjari is servant, made servant. And this also good them interesting. We are never the doer. We are the lover. We are lover. Means we have a relationship with the Lord. We have a relationship with our Swamini, our Ishtadev. Love means two, two we need two person. Lava means we have someone. Someone, we love someone. That means lava. So we need relationship. Without relationship, we cannot say love. So this love is so important because love is rather than love comes from rather than our tendency Jaiba Dharma is to serve others, to serve our Ishtadeva means to love Ishtadeva. Jaiba Dharma we may say Jaiba Dharma to serve or to love. This is our Jaiba Dharma. <laughs> Therefore, Uddhavaji is used to saying, we are, we are loving entity. <clears throat> we are loving entity. Pavupa said, we are living entity. But <laughs> Uddhavaji saying, we are loving entity. I start thinking, or maybe in a conditioned state, <laughs> we are living entity, especially in conditions. Of course, liberate also, we are living entity. But if we get liberation, real liberation, if we have relationship, real relationship, then we become real loving entity. Oh my God, Uddhavaji's Gita is very high. <laughs> so that I feel Guru Dev so much stressing to love, to become lover for, for who, for whom? This our Ishtadeva, especially for us, our Swamini. Our position is we are humble maid servant. Or well, Laguna Das Gosami say, I'm the marked maid servant. So this is a very interesting point. Maybe many other devotees may share many, many, many things. Chana Namaraj, you inspire so much. I just had this thought that what is Radharani doing actually? She's showing this to us in a very wonderful way. She is capable to lead all other lovers. I mean, this is a fact. She is the source of all love. And without her, no friend of Krishna can be a really good friend. Everyone who wants to have a relationship with Krishna needs that 
love of Radha, what she is doing? She is ordering Manjari, bring this sweet to Krishna or to the mother of Krishna, to Mother Yashoda. She herself is going to cook because Mother Yashoda is ordering her. She is preparing sweets because of the order of the mother of Krishna. Who is that mother, Yashoda? An expansion of herself. If you would say, I mean, it's not in a material sense, but if you would see it, it means she is actually lower in position, mother, than Radharani herself. But what is Radharani doing? She is serving Yashoda, that she can serve Krishna. What a humble position, actually. She is showing us. We take the position of the servant of the servant of the servant. But everyone in a special way, everyone in a special mood. And this sometimes is not so easy to distinguish. If someone is in, is in, in an opposition, because it's his seva. Some people are not so, how to say, nice to take or nice to be with. Some, there are some special troubleshooters. They have some specific characters, character. So this is the way we have to see Radharani is serving all of them, and we should actually follow her in this way and leave all other sisters like they are. It's not our position to change others. It's not even our position to change us. <laughs> it's our position that we can wish that we change into love. And Radharani would be so merciful and kind, and she is changing us in this way. So our position is to serve all the other persons like they are, serve them in specific ways, and also serve us in some way, that we can pray to Nitai, please Nitai, change my heart, please clean my heart. This is also Seva. But not for others. It's not our position to change the ego of others. <laughs> we do not understand ours, what to speak of others. <laughs> <laughs> And I can see practically, you have all such wonderful qualities. I'm always amazed again and again. When I hear you speak, when I see you doing your seva, you have all such wonderful skills. You're all specific souls, specialists for seva and love. And I love to see this again and again and again and again. And I appreciate so much that we can be together, serve together, share and share together. And just, you know, accept each other like we are. Also, maybe sometimes it's not so easy. <laughs> but later on, if we just tolerate it for some time, Later on, we always see for what it was good, isn't it? <laughs> so, so actually, Gora, Gora Bani Baba has so much vision. He has he could see all good devote, good quality in devotees. 
even though I'm not in that position, but Gorabani is very high position. So he could see everybody's good quality. <laughs> so we have to follow Gorabani. Gorabani. This is, I, I feel we have to see all others good quality. And then we can make some advancement. <laughs> That's I feel it. I'm sorry, I, I'm not in this position. No, 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 no. This is a misunderstanding. <laughs> I would like to be in this position. <laughs> because devotee is very humble. So if someone glorify, he say, no, 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 I'm not in this position. And this is a quality of a devotees. And uh, so time is coming. So our Gora Chandra, could you share something? By your sweet word, we need your help also. Uravani just made a beautiful point. Radharani is Ladini Shakti. She is the pleasure giving potency. And Prabhupada writing that when we become normal, then we are in this pleasure giving potency, connected to that. So we want to be connected with Radharani as a Manjari. But also all the Nitya Siddhas in all the different Rasas, they are also connected and living in the pleasure giving potency. You, they have a mood of a servant, they have a mood of the friend, they have a mood of mother or father or gopi, but Radharani, through Radharani, Krishna receives the love from everyone. And she is the origin, the source of all the rasas. So that is an interesting point. Our Ishtadev is Radharani. But also Yashoda, and the friends also, they all need this connection with Radharani. If you want to love Krishna in whatever way, you need Radharani for that. She is everything. <laughs> love. So... Yeah, and before we were talking about the ego, I feel that we need bhajan to be in this mood of service and the mood of humbleness and sweetness. When some taste is coming for chanting or some greed is coming, then you don't want to come out of this. You don't want to destroy it and you become very sensitive. You, you can have a good sadhana or bhajan for some time 
But when one time the ego is coming, can destroy everything. When you attack someone, then vibration goes away immediately. So, sadhus must be very careful with their feelings, always watchful, <laughs> not to make a mistake and destroy your own bhajan. So, If you want to live in the sweet feelings, in love, in the mood of service, then you really have to be careful to be humble and not allow the ego to attack someone. So therefore they say that we should make this Trinath up <laughs> Trinata Piso Nichina Sloka, we should make a chain and a board and wearing always. Because in Kali Yuga is so so easy to see the mistakes. Everyone has false ego and nobody is pure and everyone always wants to fight or criticize. So it's a big protection to be humble. It's not, it's not that we become low by that, that we are humiliated. <laughs> it's for our own protection. Otherwise, in Kali Yuga, it's not possible. It's full of mistakes, everything. Nothing is pure. So, and yeah, I think we need, I need bhajan. I need good morning meditation, chanting, then I can survive <laughs> in the day in some good mood. If I don't have that, then nothing is working. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shigona Chandra. Himangi san, nanka arimasu ka? Nani ka share suru gato ka gozaimasu ka? Ma bakti himangi. Could you share something? Daijoubu desu ka? Ok. Arigato gozaimasu. あの、本当にお話皆さんの前ですることはございませんので。いや、そんな天候なのです。ありがとうございます。So <笑> <笑> I think time is <coughs> slowly slowly coming. So thank you very much for everybody, especially for uh, some of who share us and. Uh, we are so much appreciating everybody because every, everybody sharing this nourishment of Harikata is more go deep and uh, we could understand more and also we could understand each other more and more. So thank you very much. Rade, rade. Thank you very much, Gurudev. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. ありがとうございます。マンゴーさんいらっしゃるじゃない。ラデラで、ラデラで。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました、ラデラで。Thank <笑> ありがとうございました。おやすみなさい。ありがとうございました。ラデラで。ラデラで。And Daka-san, you also say something in Japanese. 
<laughs> Anda kesan. <laughs> Aku noch. Oh ya, selesai. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. And I can see also start learning Japanese. <laughs> yeah, you know, he needs to know what what you are talking behind his back, you know. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.